This video is to demonstrate removing the DSP card out of the GridTac 10 Berge wind turbine inverter. The DSP board is located right there on the bottom left corner of the board. It's, it's about five inches square. It's actually mounted right on to the main board, which is this guy. Keep note, in the earlier inverter series, this whole board is swapped around, so this card would actually be on top. But for most of us, it's going to be right here. To remove the board, we're going to remove two cables to begin with. We're going to remove this cable. That's JP7. JP7 is actually not mounted to the board, but we're just going to get it out of the way. And then we're also going to remove this serial cable right here. Keep note, this serial cable is not polarized, so it's possible to put it in backwards. So take a good picture so you're ensured to get it correct. Just squeeze it. Remove it right out of the way and grasp this one and pull it and that's out of the way. Next we're going to remove the four Allen screws. There's one here, one there, one right here which you can't see and one right here underneath this terminal block that you can't see. It's going to take a 332nd Allen screw. So this is the tool I use to remove the two screws on the right. But it's going to be a problem here because I can't reach it with this contactor in the way. So we'll do that one in a second. Okay, so I'm going to remove that screw. There it is. Stand by. For doing the back screws, I'm just going to use my tip. I just used the wrench to help break it loose and we're just going to remove the screw. So you can use an Allen wrench or whatever you have. There it is. And I'll do the same thing for the top one here. Okay, now that all the screws are removed and the cables, we simply grab the board and we pull it straight down. I'm going to rock it a little bit and you're going to feel it unplug. And there it is. So you see all the pins? And those pins line up with this jack on the board. To reverse the operation, to put it back together, we'll do the following. So this is a close look at the DSP board and the back side. You want to examine these pins. Just confirm they're all nice and straight. If there's any problems, try to straighten them out. Like any electronics boards, you should always make sure you're grounded to prevent any static discharge. So when we go to put this back in, we're going to line these terminals with the terminal strip on the motherboard. Here's the terminal strip on the motherboard. Not easily done, but if you're careful, you can definitely do it. So here's a hint. We know once we have this thing inserted correctly, these four screws will line up perfectly with the studs on the board. Here's the stud on the motherboard. There's four of them. So once those line up and the screws go in with ease, then mission accomplished. It's really not that bad. So I just line these up. Sorry about it, it's a little blurry. With the pins on the terminal strip. Play with it a little bit. Once I think I have it, I bring it back, I push it in. I can feel it go in. 
and then I confirm that my screws are correct. Let the camera focus here. To me, I think I'm misaligned right now. So I don't think that that hole right here really lines up. I think I'm a little high. So I'm going to try it again. Okay, that second time around was much better. And this screw is going to fit right in here and go in with no problem. I'm going to do the same for all four screws. And if they all go in, we've got it. So no force at all. It just slides right in and you can fill it, plug right in. Okay, all, all four screws are back in. Just hand tight, don't over torque them. And now we're gonna put these two cables back in. Okay, again, make perfectly sure that you've got these in correctly. It's easy to go too high or too low and only get half the pins. So use a flashlight, be very careful, and just feel confident you have it in correctly. And this guy here, no problem, can only go in one way, but you're on the bottom, the furthest one. That's J7. And that is it. We have successfully removed the DSP board and reinstalled it. Thanks for watching.